Welcome back. Let's just dive in. We ended up starting a bit late because we ended up talking about logistics. Uh, enough of that. Let's go. It's like, just, just as a footnote, fuck the N4. <laughs> of course, right? Yeah, every time. Just, god damn it. Anyway, we get the Arbalist in the stage forever, right? Uh... Probably. Actually, yeah, after the initial stage with uh, Sosuke, you never see his generic M9 again. Yeah, and you only get to see it if you go with the Nadesco, too. Yep, and, you know, at least it still has the team attack. Yeah, it does, actually, which is a really nice touch on them. They didn't have ass this game. Speaking of which, even though I off-screened the level this time, I want to note I actually remember to switch to fucking ground frames for that stage. Okay. So Wild I was, punch! Yeah, I was upper I was fucking rocket punching everything. A combat submarine that I'm attached to. You know, I get that he's talking about attached in the military sense, but like But what if he was like taped to the top of it? <laughs> That's what I was about to say, like, oh I carry this around with me, and it's just a <laughs> Oh my spine. <laughs> yeah, I mean I it's so scary, would you doubt this? And, you know, he's right, if Kaiser were here, you wouldn't even have to play the stage. Pretty much. Sit on top of a building, you win. If I didn't have to upgrade the G-Gun and crew, I'd probably be upgrading Maz and Kaiser right now. Yeah, but unlike him, the G-Gun crew needs help. Yeah, I know. They, they don't get good until they have money. That's the sad part. And even then, Argo is never good, and Sai Saichi is only, like, average tier. Sai Saichi's awesome in a first place. In a first playthrough, if you upgrade him immediately, because Shin Ryo Seikoken. Yeah. But everything else over. I'll admit, when he and Ar Argo get a team attack, it's pretty nice. But Argo is so fucking slow, he never gets to use it! <laughs> ah. Yeah. George and Chippity never have to move once they go super, at least, so yeah. movement never comes into play. I'm thinking I'm gonna get both of them hit in the way, so they never have to uh, move. Never. Um. Okay, in that case, always make sure you open the team attack with Chibity, because after that, he's only got Cyclone Punch, which is shit. Yeah. <laughs> you can't make a proper ruckus? Come on, I'm gonna get my motorcycle. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, uh... While doing, um research on SRW games, I noticed something that UX really wasted potential on. Oh. Uh, basically, UX tried to make its uh, story uh, revolve around a time loop, right? Which is why uh, the mommy version of Blind Girls is there. Um, there are a bunch of mechas that have actually done that, and they missed out on a lot of them. One of them being Shin Mazinger Zero, which they passed up for fucking Master Kaiser SKL. <laughs> yeah, so... <laughs> Hated that. <laughs> really fucked up. Like, if they really wanted SKL, they could have just put in both, because Maz and Kaiser doesn't show up in Shin Mazinger Zero. So, whatever. <laughs> they could have just did both of them. Or we could have buried SKL beneath the ground. I mean, that's preferable, but you know they wouldn't do that. <sighs> I don't see why not. It sucked. I mean, it looked pretty. That was it. Well, a lot of people loved it for whatever reason. We have survived a trip to Mars. I've covered wars, you know. You know, I've noticed this about Toya, and it's probably why he's much more of a character than Kobe, and he's basically an amalgamation of a bunch of the characters in this game. Mostly Akito, but he's got Ow. elements of, of other people, too. This smidge Akito... It's mostly because he's one of the only people that remembers people's sacrifices and actively mentions them. <laughs> I mean... I'll like admit right every here, video. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll admit, everybody else probably does too, but it's never really brought on because it's not a major part of their development. Yeah. Toya, he needs death. Otherwise, he can't develop. Yeah. Fucking sinners. Well, Sayaka's a bad pilot on top of it. She is. Like, whoa, they're 
so many of them. They're they're grunts though. <laughs> Let's go punch those grunts. Good idea. <laughs> oh wait, no, you don't have the dome on crew. Indeed. If we had the shuffle alliance, we could take them. We'd only need one, really. <laughs> I could have put Sayaka in that thing. <laughs> Whatever it is now. <laughs> Freaking uh, Ashura Z, I think is what they call it. Yeah, and it's so fucking ugly. <laughs> of course he's ignoring you. You don't shout as loud. Ah, uh, Kurtz. He was BFS with Shinji. For one episode, and that's only because they were mutual perverts. <laughs> Actually, they just dragged Shinji along for the ride, if I remember right. Yeah, and remember that he became one over the course of it. I suppose, yeah. Mofi was pretty. You should forget his final charge in that episode. <laughs> charge of manliness, if I do say so myself. For you, Kurtz. For you, and Iron Ball. Yep. So, yeah, I basically just have to live, so I'm just gonna park their asses right here, and beat it up. You know, I've always tried running over the spot the kids were at. You can't step on them. I know. You can't pick them up, either. Well, that I'm not concerned about, but I wanted to step on them. Oh no, I have to pay for upgrades. I know, it sucks. I hate it. Get over it, it's Never. game balance. Why can't all upgrades just be free? Why don't you play the game on easy mode? <laughs> well, technically I did, but... <laughs> yeah, normal mode is... Every mode in J is easy mode, really. Even 20 bars is still easy mode. I... It's just bullshit. I... I've played 20 bars. I know you have. It's fake difficulty, and it's still easy mode. Oh, thank god we reached the thing. Okay. All it does is blatantly waste your time. They never threaten you. They still can't hate you. Are you deploying the strike? Why? Why? I mean, why? Why? Why what? Why would you... Deploy the strike. Because I have it upgraded. That's why. Ew. Just ew. Ew. <laughs> and even with upgrades, it's still shit tier. Yeah. It's barely better than Voltees. <laughs> How do you do that? By making the IWSP pack barely any better than the other one. <laughs> Ah, it's not worth deploying. Yeah, well, no gets about it, so it just fits me. Oh, kill yourself! It's so bad. Hey, hey, hey! Who pilots it? So what? So it's their spotlight. He's piloting a fucking sky grasper, man. Where the fuck is the Nadesco? Or the Archangel? Or anything? They haven't arrived yet. All right, men, let's hustle. Beam sword. Nice. So, did you remember that the fucking shining gun um, has smoke bombs? The shining gun had a lot of shit it never used again. Cause like I, cause like how uh, I've been rewatching Team Gundam lately and fucking, I got to, in, oh no, I got to in. And I was watching episode one, and I thought I saw Domon throw a smoke bomb, and I was like, "Holy shit! I totally forgot that was a thing." It never comes back up, though. It doesn't. No. Kind of low cheek on him. It's fun. It's really. Hey, fun. have you seen this man? He fucking asked the narrator at one point. 
The narrator's just some dude who floats around interviewing and chronicling it all. I just love that the narrator fucking ignores him when he gets asked too. He's just like, hey, nice bitch. But <laughs> he doesn't care. Well, it's not like he can force me to. Hey! <laughs> Isn't it nice when... Even though you're trying to show off Combatler, it's still... Basically... Crap. Burying itself. No, guys, it's totally usable with upgrade. Uh, maybe someday. Not good until now. So basically, never good in this game, which is all that's relevant right now. Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. These Volties can it? It's still bad. At least Voltees is at the top of shit here. That's still a pretty bad place to be. <laughs> yes, it is. Wow, he got Voltec already. 110 will. Use it? No. But it is Voltec. At least show that. Damn you. Oh, sorry. You said it too late. I'll do it next time, okay? Oh, it's Skype delay. I don't have a choice. I know. I'm not yelling at you. Jeez. Stop yelling at me, I'm jeez. I'm not yelling at you. Stop deploying the fucking strike. <laughs> too late. Moose's not even in it right now. Wow. Okay. On, the, on the plus side, I'm only gonna have to stream the last level on 20 bars. Oh, 40% hit rate! See that hit? Yeah, out of 50. Still hit. Where am I? 1% hit rates. <laughs> you know, every time I see that animation, I think a blood vessel just burst in his fucking brain. <laughs> you know, that's the funnier explanation. And you know, that kind of does actually fit the X round. Oh wow, look at Battler's hell. Yeah, I know. Battler can't take a hit. <laughs> That's why you dump nothing but defense points in. You should have told me that earlier. Mike and Battler is nothing but defense. And even then it can take a hit at it. It's still pretty bad at it, but it could be a lot worse. But then it's only when I'm forced to deploy it. Speaking of which, the rewatch of G Gundam also reminded me that uh, Shiny Gundam did not need to go super in order to use Shiny Finger. It was a regular move. Yeah. It was Shiny Finger Sword that was super. Yeah, but this game got that wrong. <laughs> to be f fair, they pr probably just confused it because later on, he always used super to employ it. Yeah. And shit, his original use of it was against um, Mikolo Chariot. Yep. Episode 1. Yep, and it's still my favorite moment in the show. You may have those gold feet, but I've got... Uh, silver feet, but I've got these gold fingers! Like, seriously, that's so badass. I love that. It is, but at the same time, when you step back and go, Wait, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> well, that's cheek on them in a nutshell. I know, it's great! I just like seeing it. I don't get sound, I gotta get some animations. Yeah. There you go. And plus, Sheena gets her precious deploy this way. Well, Tekka Man's always deployed. He's... Not it's always. Too free. <laughs> Shame on you. Hey. It's two free units. That's true. One of which is insanely powerful. Hey, it's a crit. Doesn't Tekka Lancer have a high crit rate? Yep. Anti damage, anti hit rate. It's like Finger Crusher. Only not as good as Finger Crusher. Yeah, but Finger Crusher is, like, really stupidly good. It's one of the major reasons it edges out the Vorlin. Uh, well, not Vorlin, because the Vorlin sucks. The Rough Clons. It's not. Whatever. It's not 
I've checked? Whatever. Yeah, more importantly, I don't know why you're always so uppity about this. You like it more as the range super, which is really the only choice if you want a range super. <laughs> I know. Just but melee like wise. Range units doesn't mean you gotta fucking make fun of me, God. I'm not. I'm arguing that the melee of Grand Teeth beats out the melee of rough clones. Range has never come into it. You had a question. Huh? Why do you keep using the rifle with, uh, what's his face? With Arnold's him. points in melee. The strike. Yeah, I I use the rifle there because of support effect. Mm. That's why. And it, was, it would hear it, and it guaranteed the kill, so. Ah, right, the strike needs to be carried on damage. Pretty much, yeah. And stop using it! No. Why? Moo's not in it! But he is in this. Meaning you don't need to deploy the strike. <laughs> Rats? <laughs> Alright. Um. Actually, you made me think of something because Patler can't reach me right now. So anyway, he'll be resupplied because he's had a big blast. Yeah, he's just gonna get hit eventually, so... Yeah, pretty much. Might as well keep him in the back, right? These two are hurting, too. I really wish I had deployed fucking Boss Warrock. Oh, well. God, I wish Argo didn't suck. As I say, he probably does deserve a little more mobility. He does. Just a little. He's supposed to be like, the dodgy one. He is. 200 mobility is still really good. But I think a smidge more would have been appropriate since he has like three attacks, four if you count super. Constitute a smidge more, like uh, an extra ten, maybe twenty points. Yeah, I was about to say two twenty. Ten. Okay, Argo's probably dead. Twenty might be a little too much. It's still. We basically got an empty house today. You do? What? No, we do. We, only Sheena's here. Yeah, sadly. Fucking Sheena. I blame her. Are you really trying to get rid of our only viewer? <laughs> God. I bet, her. I bet she chased off Starman. Starman wasn't here to begin with. I bet Sheena was all like, hey Starman, you should go play BN4. And he was all like, good idea. And he fucked oh, up. Please, please stop. <laughs> Why? Like, we already talked to him about that yesterday. And it's just. <sighs> oh, fuck BN4. Nobody has combo attack yet. This is bullshit. They're low level. Uh, I missed combo attack. It's okay. Toy is going to deploy in Grand Teeth soon, and you'll have it right back. He does have combo attack now, right? He should. What level's Toya? Toya has combo attack. Okay. Like, even if he didn't... Some, like, even if somehow he didn't already have it naturally, um, I gave him combo plus. Dude, you have put... Kim <laughs> Battler is so fucking dead. Nah, son, I got this. You don't. I got this. He's going to be the target. I or got are you gonna... this. Are you gonna support defend with the fucking Sky Grasper? I might. <laughs> uh... Starman! Blue Jet has arrived! Well, gotta start over, BRB, folks. 